In dog training, one of the most debated items or topics are correction collars and how they're used and when they should be used and when they shouldn't. And are they humane or not? When it comes to correction collars, there's three main types that you're going to see. You have choke chains, pinch or prong collars, and the e-collars or shock collars. Today we're going to be talking about the choke chains. A choke chain, while the word choke is in the name, it's not actually designed to choke your dog. It's designed to apply pressure around the neck, simulating mama dog or another dog grabbing him by the neck, thus trying to be a natural correction. Unfortunately for us as human beings, when we hear the word choke, what do we do? We pull the chain up and it's and we choke the dog into position a lot of times. There is a proper way to fit and use a choke chain. Some of the biggest mistakes that I see is the size and the direction that the chain is used. If you can slip the choke chain over the dog's head and it's hanging or has slack in it, it is way too loose and isn't going to do the job that it's designed to do. Whenever you put a, the choke chain on your dog, you should take it and it should form the letter P over his head with the top part of the chain coming out across to your leash here. If we do it the opposite way, what happens is when we, can, when we pull or correct the dog, the chain gets stuck and it doesn't release the way it's designed to do. Some of the pros and cons of using a choke chain, um, most dogs that you see wearing a correction collar, the majority are wearing choke chains. One is because it's cost effective. It's one of the cheapest collars that you can buy. Some of the issues that come out of it is number one, it's a strength-based correction. So the bigger and stronger you are, the more of a correction you can apply to your dog. So what you'll see is a dog that listens better to dad than they do to mom, than they do to the kids, just based on the physical aspect of how hard you can yank the collar. One of the pros of the collar is that it's one of the few collars that don't allow the dog to back out of the collar, where if a dog is wearing just his normal flat collar and they start pulling the opposite way, they can pop that collar off and get away. The choke chain is designed that as they pull away, it constricts down and does not let the dog back out of that. Probably the biggest safety concern when utilizing a choke chain is that you never want to use it anytime when the dog is not supervised. Because it can constrict down to absolutely nothing, it can pull tight and cause strangulation or even death.